this is a short demonstration to show the meningeal layers of the dura mater and its folds the falx cerebri it is a large sickle shaped fold of the dura mater occupying the medial longitudinal fissure between the two cerebral hemispheres its na narrow anterior end is attached to crista galli and the broad posterior end onto the upper surface of the tentorium cerebellum along the median plane its convex upper margin is attached to the lips of the sagittal sulcus of the skull and its lower concave margin is free and lies just above the corpus callosum of the brain the venous sinuses enclosed in the falx cerebri are the superior sagittal sinus which is enclosed within the convex upper border while the straight sinus lies along the attachment of the falx cerebri with the tentorium cerebri this is a demonstration of the tentorium cerebellum it is a tent shaped fold of the dura mater forming the roof of the posterior canal cranial fossa it separates the cerebellum from the occipital lobe of the cerebrum it has two margins and two surfaces margins the inner free free margin is u shaped and encloses the tentorium notch for the passage of mid brain the anterior end of the concave free margin are attached to the anterior clinoid processes the outer attached margin is convex and attached on the each side to the posterior clinoid process posterior the outer attached margin is convex and attached on each side to the posterior clinoid process the posterior inferior angle to the parietal bone and lips to the transverse sulci on the occipital bone the free and attached margins cross each other near the apex of the petrous temporal bone to enclose a, enclose a triangular area anteriorly which is pierced by oculo motor nerve this is a demonstration of the falx cerebellum it is a small sickle shaped fold of the dura mater in the sagittal plane projecting forward in the into the posterior cerebellum notch it extends from the internal occipital protuberance along the internal occipital crest to the posterior margin of the foramen maxillae its free concave anterior margin and convex attached posterior border diaphragma cerebellum it is a small circular horizontal fold of the inner layer of the dura mater forming the roof of the hypophyseal fossa it is attached anteriorly to the tuberculum cella and posteriorly to the dorsum cella and becomes continuous on each side with the dura mater of the middle cranial fossa it is a central aperture which provides passage to the stalk of the pituitary gland